All right, what's up guys? Um, sorry, I kind of got the, I mean, I know it's kind of cloudy out, but I got the sun like right in my eyes. Um, so I've decided to start like a new, uh, I guess you'd call it series uh, for my YouTube channel. Um, a lot of people lately have been asking me about how to Euro on the Euro tram. And so I'm actually going to start that today here at High Rise. And I'm gonna be teaching you guys from the easiest things like walking to progressively harder things like the backflip on the wall or kamikaze or things like that. Um, that's what I'm going to be teaching you in order of what I think is easiest to the hardest tricks. So we're gonna start here today at High Rise on our Euro Tramp here. Um, today I'm just gonna cover basics. Easy walking the wall. And then probably I may or may not do the finer points in this one, not too sure. Yeah, if I do do the finer points, you'll hear about this. If not, I'll film it out or edit it out. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, I'm here today and I got an awesome cameraman, just a shout out. <laughs> He's like, yeah, behind the camera. Um, okay, so, what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is all the stuff for the Euro Tramp or the Super Tramp. Um, there's multiple things to do for this. There's transfers between walls, there's flips, there's just bouncing on the ground, I guess you call it ground tricks, I don't know what it would be considered on the trampoline. Coming. <laughs> You got me over. Okay. I lost my cameraman. <laughs> okay, so, um, I lost my train of thought as I lost my cameraman too. There's a number of things to learn on a Euro tramp. There's the flips, there's the ground tricks, there's spins on the walls, there's handstands on top of walls. Um, also things that a lot of people see me do that no one else really does in here, which is flipping over the top of one wall into a foam pit. Um, there's all sorts of crazy things to do, and I'm going to be teaching them to you guys as best as I can. So, without further ado, let me give you a demonstration on exactly what those things mean to you and to me.
we're going to get started with the very basics of just getting used to the trampoline. The uh, Super Tramp is going to be well different from any other normal trampoline. It's a lot more bouncy. It's a lot different to get used to. So let's go ahead and practice just bouncing to our shoulders and back up. Anytime we do this, you want to put about 75% of your body weight on your shoulders and about 25% on your hips. That way you bounce back forward. Reason being, shoulders will put you back forward, hips will put you in reverse. So if you switch that around and put more hips in, you're able to go backwards. Forwards, so like, example, that's more shoulders. But if I do this, that's more butt, more hips. So when you're doing this stuff, you really, really, really want to put more, more most of the time, sometimes you will use your hips more, but most of the time you're gonna use your shoulders. 75% of your shoulders to get back to the wall, anything like that. So just start right now by just bouncing to your shoulders and back up to your feet. Just simply. Getting used to it like that. If you can do that about five times in a row, you should be about as comfortable as possible just bouncing shoulders, feet, shoulders, feet, shoulders, feet. Five times in a row, you should be about good. And that's without anything that seems to be iffy or sketchy to you, whereas you turn sideways coming back up, something like that. If you're not coming exactly to the spot on your feet to where you can bounce back up every time, something's wrong, keep practicing, just bouncing to your shoulders and back up. Now when I say shoulders, I want to throw something out there. That does not mean your neck. That means here, this portion of your body, here and down to here, not here and up. No breaking the necks, that's a bad thing. So, really, really stressing shoulders, not your neck. Upper back. Might be better for me to say upper back actually, but I'm gonna stick with shoulders. But Bouncing to the shoulders again, five times, back up, then we'll be able to move on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera here. Ah! So you can see more of that wall. Okay. So, as I'm going to jump to this wall, I'm gonna use this wall at high rise because it's probably the best wall to learn on. Reason being for that, the wider trampoline is running this way, so if I were learning, and I were to make a mistake, if I were to go sideways, such as like, I have more room rather than these short walls this way. So if I were to try and learn off of this big wall behind me, I might fly into one of these other walls if I was trying to overpower something and slam my head off that plexiglass wall or this rubber wall. Best wall to learn off of is this one, safest way to do it. So, I am going to be teaching off this wall. If you come to high rise, please start with this wall. If you have never done this before, then move to the other walls first, next. So this wall with the eight foot point is what I'm going to be using. Now, from here, the first thing I'm going to be doing is what I call Spider-Man or, I, I don't know what else actually I call it. I call it like many things, but I've kind of referred recent to it recently as Spider-Man. I get tongue tied a lot. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just jump to the wall. My knees are going to be out, I want you to notice, and not in towards the wall. So I'm going to be like this on the wall. So I'm going to hit that, and then when I come off the wall, you will notice that my feet stay on the wall and I hinge like a door back to my shoulders. I fall off eventually, Not my feet don't stay on it permanently, but they do stay on longer than my hands, and I'll fall back down and then run up to the wall. So, first thing I'm gonna show you is that exactly. So, bounce, bounce, hit the wall, shoulders. Notice that I hinged off the wall, stressing that heavily, because some people think that you push off the wall. Do not push off the wall. That's how you get your head into that other wall. So, really, really going to stress that point. Don't ever push off the wall unless you're doing something like a transfer, but that comes later. As to the walking, don't push. You 
you fall off the wall in the beginning, and then you run up and run down, pushing with your feet up and down. You're pushing your body, just like if you were to run up to a wall, I can actually do it right here. If I were just to run up to this wall and just push up, that is exactly what you're doing. Pushing up and pushing down in the same way. You are never, 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 never pushing out away from the wall on the Euro unless you're doing a transfer or some odd trick like that. So, and not an odd trick actually. It's actually a really cool trick. So, again, hinge the wall, fall to your shoulders, 75% shoulders, 25% hips. That way we bounce back to the wall. And I can demonstrate really quickly what happens if you don't do the shoulders. So, if I were to use my butt, notice how I went that way. And it actually hurt my elbows a little bit. I scratched up. Yeah, you can see I kind of scratched up my elbows a little bit right there. So, use your shoulders. Much better than your hips. So, again, jump, Spider-Man, knees out. If my knees are in, it tickles. I actually didn't hit that time, but I came very close. So make sure your knees are out. You're hitting the wall about like this. Hinge from your feet to your back. Bounce back up. Now, when we're bouncing back up this time, and yes, I know I'm repeating a lot of myself because I'm really trying to lay this into your head because a lot can go wrong in this, and I am not going to be held reliable. So if you're attempting this stuff on your own, I am not responsible. I'm just throwing that out right now. This is all on you. You are the one attempting it. You are the one tricking on the Euro or super ramp, whatever you want to call it. Um, but when you bounce back up to the wall, land in a running position on the wall, feet spread apart. Notice the bottom foot that I put on the wall is actually pretty low. It's only gonna be about one or two feet off the actual path. It's only about yay high. My other foot is about level with my head but that one, the bottom one is the one that's actually pushing me up the wall. The top one is mainly just keeping me balanced on the wall so I don't hit my head or anything like that. I can actually use it later to push myself back down and reverse my motion down. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. So, bounce. And I'm back up the wall. Bottom foot down, top foot up. And here, I have my power. But notice how this top foot is pushing me back down every time. But also, my bottom foot. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show is exactly what I'm doing with my arms. With my arms, I'm actually going to be going up the wall, throwing back. Kind of like Naruto, if you've ever seen that. I've actually never seen the series, but I know how people make fun of the Naruto running like this. So, um, if you're running up the wall, arms are back. If you're falling down from the wall, back into the trampoline, throw your arms forward. This actually gives you the extra momentum and extra bounce when you go back down, pushes you into the trampoline so that you bounce higher back up. And same when you throw your arms back, it kind of pushes you up into the air a little bit more. So the more effective you can be with your arms, the better you'll be. Eventually you'll kind of get to where you'll notice some of the stuff I do, I don't use a whole lot of my arms because I can use the rest of my body and I don't have to worry about my arms as much now. Um, but when you're beginning, Really, really use your arms a lot more. Be very well aware of your arms. Um, most people just kind of like tuck on their chest or kind of like let them flop or whatever. Really, your a lot of power comes through your arms. And a lot of people can't understand that when I'm sitting here and I'm working and people are like, what am I doing wrong? I'm like, use your arms. And then they just keep doing this. I'm like, use your arms. And they're like, they, they hardly ever use their arms. Really throw into it when you go. And I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is for me to get to the top of that wall when I'm using my arms. But I'm gonna make sure my camera can see all the way up first. <clears throat>
Okay, that should be good. Okay, so watch how easily it is when I put all these steps together. Push. I probably could have easily got up on the third jump instead of the fourth or fourth or instead of fifth, whatever, how many it took me to get up there. But it didn't take me 10 years to get to the top. Um, disclaimer, uh, if you ever are on the Euro Tramp, you're always gonna be tired. This thing always wears you out, even doing the simplest of things. And I'm pretty sure after doing this for a year, I've never built stamina for this thing. Just so you're aware, you're always gonna be tired, doesn't matter how good you are. Um, let's see, some finer points to know. Um, do not ever try to jump off the top to get your bounce to go up. You'll notice I jumped off at the very beginning, or end of the video, sorry. Um, but I always start from the bottom before I get up there. Never, 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 ever, ever try to jump off from the top, especially if you don't know how to do this. If you don't know how to do this right, you will break your legs coming down and landing on this trampoline. This is not a normal trampoline. And people, if it's over your head height, do not jump over this. Look, this is a four foot wall. This is, yes, I'm about five and a half feet tall. In fact, this may not be a four foot tall anymore. We've moved the trampoline up and down, I can't remember. Um, but, that's about four feet tall. And I'm about five and a half feet. If it's over your head height and you jump off of something, it's not a good thing for your body. It's really not good to be jumping off a whole lot of stuff anyways. Yes, I realize I do parkour. But, don't be jumping off something that's over your head height. Even this, is something that you should not be jumping off of onto your legs, um, mainly because the trampoline is going to be pushing your legs up while you're going down, and that's how your legs break right there. Should I explain any more? No. Don't jump off the top. It is incredibly important to not jump off the top. That was weird. It, uh, my camera like switched modes without me asking it to. Um, the rules, I was covering the rules. Okay, so, um, again, I'm just gonna repeat what I did say. No doubling on the trampoline. That means no two people at once on the trampoline. Only one person is allowed at a time. There are reasons for it. Um, I nearly had an accident with a guy named Cade. Both of us are very well experienced, by the way. Even if you have good enough amount of experience, there's always accidents to be had. So, no, even if you are experienced, you are not doubling on the trampoline. I almost landed on top of him once when we were doubling because our timing didn't go right and we came down at the same time and I bounced over nearly on top of him and one of us could have been really hurt or both of us. But luckily we were okay. No doubling, that is one of the reasons why. Um, not because of me and we never actually said anything about it, but that is a reason why you don't double on this trampoline. Um, another thing is no flips. Do not try to flip on this trampoline from your feet to your feet. If you're gonna do a flip on here, ask permission one first. Two, you're not ever gonna have permission to land on your feet. If you wanna land on your back like you saw me do earlier, which is a timer. Um, a timer is what the flip is called if you don't know. Um, that's a back flip from your feet to your back. So, like an over rotation. Uh, that is permitted. You need to ask permission before you do it. Um, otherwise, you could probably get kicked off the Euro Tramp. Um, so, um, another another thing to know is that you need to be seven years or older, or as tall as the red line there. I think I was pointing at it. My camera went off right there. That red line. If you're not that tall, you are not jumping on the Euro. So, what else am I missing? One person at a time, no flips. Oh, another thing to know, if you don't know, if you've never been on a Euro Tramp before, a rule, a really good rule to know is 
especially one here at high rise that we'd like to tell you is you get two bounces on your feet then you go to your butt or your back so if you've never been on a euro before this is what it's going to look like the first time you come you get two bounces one two butt. one two butt one two back so you're not allowed to jump on your feet multiple times forever um, you quickly need to move to your butt or your back um, yes there are actual reasons for this rule um, it is a safety reason so I'm actually not going to explain that reason in this video because it would be a whole nother video to explain that anyways and because I go off on huge tangents so I think I have covered pretty much everything on the basics today. Um, I will now actually, the next thing I'm going to be doing after now that I've released the basics of how to run the wall, the next thing that I'll be posting is the tricks, how to's on the tricks. So like how to do a 360 on the wall, how to transfer from walls, how to do the backflip off the wall, how to do a kamikaze. Um, and eventually, how to go over the wall. I'm the only one at this point that can actually efficiently go over the wall, I believe. There may be a couple other people. Um, there were more at one point in time, but um, people have moved away, pretty much. One specifically to Canada. So, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button. Um, subscribe to this channel if you liked it. The more people that subscribe, the more people, or the more videos I'll make, sorry, more videos I'll make, because it's more worth my time. So, knowing that, um, leave a comment below on what you guys thought. Um, should I have added anything? Should I take away anything? I know I explain a lot, but I, I feel like it's better for me to say a whole lot than not enough, and people wonder what they're supposed to be doing and ask a lot of questions. So I over explain everything if I can when I'm doing stuff like this. Actually anything if you know me. I over explain everything. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>